All right, welcome back. This video will actually get to pick up the pickups. So what we need to do here is create some code that will recognize the collision between the marble and the pickup, and then um, get the pickup to basically disappear. In the following video, we'll actually create a score as well. So let's go open up our code here and sort of think a little bit about what we're going to do and um, I'll talk a little bit about you know how how this would work here. So we're actually going to go back to the marble movement one. You could create a separate script here. We will create the same script um, simply because I think it would be it would be easy enough to do it here. It creates a few more complications to put it into um, a separate script. What we're going to do is uh, sort of create another function and this is a built-in function um, in unity and it's called so void it's called on trigger enter and you'll see that this nicely suggests where it is there it is on trigger enter and what a trigger is is kind of like a sensor almost and actually it puts in a lot of other things so private void on trigger enter collider other and what it is is this other refers to whatever the marble collides with so whatever it collides with its collider and you might have remembered me talking about a box collider and a sphere collider so whatever it runs into is going to be called the other now the important thing is is that the other thing has to be a trigger and like I said that's going to be a bit of a sensor and we'll we'll see that in a minute here so let's just put some code in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a conditional. So if, right, and we've seen that before, if the other dot game object, so if the other game object, so the thing that we've run into has a tag, and we haven't talked about tags. We'll talk about that in a second. So we're going to compare the tag, and it should have a tag called, we've got to put this in as a string, it should have a tag called pickup. Now what we do is we put a little bit of a curly brace around it. So instead of indenting like we would have in Python, we put it in curly braces here. And basically, so if that thing is a pickup, then what we're going to do is the other dot game object. Okay, so we're going to uh, affect the other, which is the pickup. We're going to set its active to false. And that means basically turning it off. Okay, so yeah, we've set that thing to false, okay? And that's all we really have to do here, okay? So what happens is, is if it runs into something that has a trigger, this function gets run, okay? And whatever we've run into is that has the trigger on it is called the other. So if this is true, if the other that we ran into has a tag called pickup, then we will set that others set active to false, which means it will disappear from the game. So let's go and see what this is. So make sure you save. I'm going to go control S, go back to Unity. Now we've named our objects pickup, but it doesn't have a tag. And you'll notice right here, there's something called tag. Okay. So I'm going to hit play just to show you nothing different has happened what's happening is it's just going to bounce off them okay it's just hitting them so what i'm going to do is in the box collider on all of them and we'll go back to the prefab in a second there's something that says is trigger so i'm going to go to the prefab i'm going to open the prefab and i'm going to set this one to be is trigger so now all of them will be a trigger okay and if i, I just pick one at random you can see is trigger is on, is trigger is on. So let's just watch the dynamic difference. It's still not going to work, but there's something very different happening now. So before, when I ran into it, it was bumping into it. It was acting as a collider. When it's a trigger, it passes. If it doesn't freeze here. Huh? 
Ah, that's very interesting. Unity has changed a bit. Um, before it wouldn't give you an error. Now it gives you an error. Notice it's saying here, pickup is not defined. So it knows that something's missing. It, <laughs> well, I think my kids are playing a game. Uh, it knows that there is an issue here. So what are we going to do? Well, I mean, if, if I actually, I noticed here, if I just sort of unpause it, I can still play it. Okay. And so it does it again. Okay. But notice how it's passing through. I don't know if, okay. It keeps pausing. Okay. But it keeps throwing up that error that there's something wrong. Ah, Unity is getting smarter. So what we want to do is actually set up the uh, tag. Okay. We won't run into that error. But notice again, it was passing straight through that. And what it's basically saying is that it's no longer a collider. It is a trigger. And so it's acting like a sensor. And so it's saying, ah, I sense we're colliding with something. Let me try to run the code. And because we don't have a pickup defined, it's giving us that error. So let's go fix that up. Go back to the pickup here, open the prefab. And what you'll notice is like it says tag untagged. Click on that. You'll find that we don't have one called pickup here. That's okay. We can add tags. We can click on the plus and then we can add it. Now make sure you spell it exactly like you did before, including capitalization. So the capital P capital U save. Okay. So now this is always a little bit of a problem. Um, you know, going back here, I'm going back to that, open the prefab, you notice it's still untagged, but now you can click on pickup. And again, if that's done it to all of them, they're all tagged pickup. Okay. So let's try this again. Hit play here. Okay. I'm moving my ball around. Ah, they are disappearing. Now what you'll notice is they are not deleted from the game. We're not destroying them. You can destroy them, but we're not. What we're simply doing is turning off this button. And this button is the set active button. So you notice like pick up three, which is still in the game. It's, it's on. If I click on that, it disappears. So basically the set active is just removing this from the game by that way. All right. So that's good. We are almost done. Um, might be one or two more videos. We got to do the score next and, uh, and then being able to tell us what the score is. And then also a, um, a you win button or a you win, um, text popping up. We'll see you in the next video.